I can't even lie, I never thought I'd be right where I am I relied on sight, kept me in circles like a ferris wheel Now I close my eyes and I just listen to the words you say I know plans I have for you If you would just walk by faith, yeah You just walk my way, and yeah. I'll take all your pain, yeah Just call on my name, yeah I'll provide the rain Sometimes I don't know where to go I just cry and let it go I just thought I'd let you know you say yes, that happens when the flower pots go. When the flower pots go. go. When the flower pots go. Yeah, I guess that. Yeah, I guess that happens when the flower pots go. That's just something I should know. I'm just really trying to cope. Cause I'm learning how to go. Go, 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 go. Hey, y'all. So, I am back with another video. Y'all, don't give me, I know I'm looking a little dusty, I know, I know I'm looking a little, like, what's going on? But, you know, I'm, um, gonna get my hair done for school, I start school Monday, and, um, I'm about to get, well, I'm gonna do my eyebrows and all that other good stuff, so, get my hair done, and I'm gonna get cute. So school starts my last year of high school um yeah so i hope y'all ready for that but today's video is about basically the beginning and the remainder of your school years and it's just a little advice from me of things i be trying to remind myself because y'all i'm not perfect either I be messing up a lot and doing some dumb stuff so I'll be having to remind myself so yeah just gonna dive right in you see probably from the title of my video let me give y'all some scriptures to help y'all out so get y'all notebook get your notepad wherever you got get your phone put it in the notes and get this started so I'm gonna go from the 10 I'll work my way down to number one so number 10 I put James 1 and 19 through 20 know this my beloved brothers let every person be quick to hear slow to speak slow to anger for anger of the man does not produce righteousness of God. All right. Y'all, I'm going to need y'all to thumbs up this video. If you ever did something outside of the will of God, I'll tell you. <laughs> y'all have had all the likes because I know y'all did some stuff and that stuff. That was outside of righteousness of God. But um, basically the reason why... Um, I'll just decide the reason I picked this scripture was because with me personally I feel like our generation is very like we clap back really fast like we be so quick to be like oh no da, 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 da. like your parents would be like oh no you don't need to do this and we just don't listen we not slow to speak <laughs> we are not slow to anger and we don't listen and this is for me too i know sometimes i'll be like like my mama really doing the most right now like but not like on a serious note write this down because sometimes we do need those times where we just need to listen we have those times where we don't need to speak and it's been i'll oh, have so many times where i didn't got angry and they right. The anger of man does not produce the righteousness of God. Because it's I, I honestly I feel bad. I regret the moments where I basically lashed out out of anger, and I I didn't show myself as a Christian in those moments. Like it wasn't like because I, I don't really touch so. But it wasn't like oh I'm cussing this person out or whatever. But in that moment I didn't show that I was saved. I didn't show that I was a Christian. In that moment, I didn't show the love of God. So, definitely, 
like we all i feel like that's something everybody needs to work on not everybody gets as angry as fast so not everybody is always so quick to speak and stuff but i'm just saying this is something if this is something you struggle with definitely keep this down especially slow the anger because especially dealing with these kids these schools telling you they, they be trying y'all they be trying they be trying me they be trying me so i know they be trying y'all so just put this in the back of your head write it down put a sticky note on the wall read some scriptures read some quotes before you go out the door because this is just what i'll be doing y'all you gotta get with it get with it so number nine next scripture is first corinthians 15 and 33 do not be deceived by evil communication. Corrupts your good manners. Y'all, evil communication corrupts your good manner. Is basically saying, hanging around people who ain't doing right gonna get you to not do right. Like, and I had to learn this. Like, I can't save everybody. I can't be trying to be like, oh, this person needs my help and all this stuff. If you're not spiritually strong enough to to be around this person and keep yourself like safe, keep to yourself, um, doing what you're supposed to do, going to church, prayed up, listening to the right stuff, all the other stuff, talking like, and this is how if you one of those people who don't really know if you're around somebody that's gonna corrupt your good manner just think about when you're around that person is anything about you changing because in a relationship people change people i know this because i could just say from being around certain friends it's like i'm more goofy around certain people it's like how can i put it being around certain people will make you do certain things so if you realize you're around somebody and you cussing more than usual that's probably a sign that they're making you cuss more the spirits that they carry is probably interfering with yours they're gonna corrupt your good manner you'll be like oh i don't even cuss like that but when you get around this person some words just slip up that's because of that and it's not like oh they're evil like they over here stirring the pot a potion and stuff like that but it's just sometimes some people is some people's spirits it's not stuff that you need to be involved in yourself with because surround yourself with positivity surround yourself and everybody you hang around probably not gonna be saved they probably not gonna go to church they probably not gonna desire to have a relationship with god the way you do but at least make sure that you keeping yourself prayed up you keeping yourself um basically guard it you keep your um make sure that they're not corrupt your good manner and don't don't like especially in high school i've never really struggled with peer pressure if i don't want to do something i ain't gonna do it but <laughs> if um everybody's not like me everybody doesn't have a strong will like me or a strong mind so if you're one of those people that struggle with that just write this scripture down keep it somewhere and be like let me make sure that i'm keeping my good man let me make sure that i'm not interfering or interacting with nobody who's gonna throw me off track and y'all birds of a feather flock together be be mindful when hanging around because a lot of the time people will look at you and they'll see who you hang with it. And that might be somebody that you need to talk to. Or somebody that got so that pointed you out. That be like, oh, you're going to help this person. You're going to bless this person. And you can't even do it. Because this person won't approach you now. Because you hang with somebody that they not going to mess with. So just be mindful of who you keep around you. But, and then a lot of people, like, they'll think, like, you act like them and you don't. Because I know I struggled with that too. I had a few friends that me and them was nothing alike. But people assumed that I was like them doing the things that they do because I was hanging with them. So just be, that's just things to keep in mind. So, yeah. The number eight is Ephesians 6 and 1 through 3. Children, obey your parents and the Lord for this is right. Honor your mother and father. I'm going to say that again. Honor your mother and father, which is the first commandment with a promise, 
that it may go well with you and that you may enjoy long life on earth. Y'all, the Bible say your days will be short if you do not listen to your parents. Now, I ain't going to sit and act like I'm perfect. I know it'll be some days I'll be like, this lady in this house going to drive me crazy. <laughs> just play the simple. It'll be like that. But just y'all try y'all best. Love y'all parents while they're here. Because I know at the end of the day, my mom means well basically and i'm pretty sure y'all parents are the same i know everybody parents like then girl we got different we all got different backgrounds we got different parents but we gotta remember our parents are human too they are not perfect they make mistakes too they growing just like how we growing and you can't be so quick to get upset with them and stuff like that because i'm pretty sure their intentions aren't to be you know mean or malicious or anything like that i'll be having to remind, remind myself of that too i was like i know my mom i'm only looking out for me sometimes i'll be like in my head like you doing too much but <laughs> but no honestly i have a great mother i love her a lot but um y'all see when i do my meet my family videos y'all gonna be my mom because that's no honestly my mom was like oh my best friend i tell her everything so make sure y'all build that bond with your parents so it's not as hard for you to listen to them because when you be in school and stuff like that don't it seem like the teachers that people have a bond with is the ones they listen to more i don't know why people be thinking they be thinking that like they gonna listen to somebody they don't know like i don't know maybe that's just me i feel like that like oh, i mean we gotta listen to like the police and all that other stuff but i'm talking about like when it comes to school and jobs and stuff like that i feel like when you get to know somebody on a personal level it makes it easier on you i don't know but that's just my way of thinking but anyway next scripture number seven matthew 11 and 28 come to me all you who are weary and burdened and i will give you rest y'all when you weary and burdened when you got a lot on your plate and you feel like you just can't deal you was going through the struggle and it's just too much god said he will give you peace he will give you rest if you cast your cares on him all you gotta do is pray and be like god i feel like i can do this and i need you to help me and it's as it's as simple as that just tell god that you need his help and as you handed it over to him and i also do this to you i promise y'all it is not like i'm giving advice i be have to take my own advice sometimes like this is the reason why i wrote it down in my notebook because we 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 always worry and and that's not what god wanted us to do he didn't want us to be here all stressed out and getting upset and frustrated and all of that he said he'll take care of all of that for you ain't no need for you to even get upset so yes definitely make sure I, I know with school things can get hectic these can get so busy your schedule get crazy and all of that but as long as you keep god in the midst he will give you rest he will give you peace and you know that's what the devil will he will he wants you to be going crazy he wants you to worry he wants you to overthink and all that other stuff he wants you to stress out so that being said make sure that y'all must write this especially write this down remember this this is so important remember that yes all right so number six philippians 4 and 13 yeah everybody follow a lot of people know this scripture i could do all things through christ that strengthens me so don't y'all be in there speaking oh i'm not gonna make the football team Oh, I'm not going to make the cheerleader team. Oh, I'm not going to pass this test. Oh, I'm not going to graduate. Because you are. You are. Uh, don't don't even say none of that bad stuff. Because we're we going to make it. We're going to make it. 
and that's where your faith gotta kick in i know it be hard y'all that's why i'm sitting here i'm trying to pass this math standardized test y'all but i know i know that god got me i know that he got me but um you can do all things through christ that strengthens you your strength comes from christ so that means you can do all things because y'all did uh, i don't know if y'all know some of the stories in the bible y'all should but last time i checked it was, it was jesus was in there doing miracles I, I ain't gonna say jesus can't do something because he can't i ain't gonna say god can't do something he can they have the power to and he given that he give that power to us he said our strength is in him so what you can't do what you can't do you can do all things and keep that keep that and i know some people they might think that it's like a cockiness but it's no you you hold yourself you carry yourself like that you can do all things period and don't let nobody else tell you different because what they gonna do they gonna they, they gonna tell god that, that he ain't got no strength <laughs> what they gonna do they gonna be like Oh, she she thinks she can do all this stuff because like, like they they gonna say, they gonna say, people gonna say stuff about you, especially when you real confident and believe in a God. But trust me, He never fails. He never fails. So they, they it, ain't, it ain't like they can control it. So be confident, be cocky with it. Yes, I can do all things through Christ. Anyway, number five. Uh, I put 1 John 3 and 18. Dear children, let us not love with our words or speech, but with actions and in truth. And y'all, this hit home. Like, I feel like our generation is just, we do things for show and tell. Like, uh, God did this for me and all this other stuff. And we be so quick to share all these posts on Facebook about God and all those stuff. But it's very little, very few of us who are actually desiring to grow a relationship with God. And I was like, all this, all this talk. But there is no actions. Like, I, it's a lot of people that I know that they'll go to church and then they, they really don't. Like, you could be in church, but are, are you living the life? And I, I ain't coming at nobody, but it's just like, I'm, I know so many youth that's like that, and it makes me upset. And I was, this is the reason why I put this in here, because you could talk all you want, you be like, oh, I'm saved, oh, I'm a Christian, oh, I accepted Jesus as my life, uh, my Lord and Savior. And I'm like, okay, all this talk, but they said, but with actions and in truth, and, and God know your heart. And it's like, I can't really speak on what they be doing. Because, you know, they could probably be at home praying and stuff like that. And that's stuff that I don't see. But the way they carry themselves outside of, other, of those other places, I just be like, how you gonna say that you're a Christian and you out here doing these things? How you gonna say that you representing God and you out here doing all this crazy stuff? So, it all just comes down to really showing that you love god and people see you carry that lifestyle instead of us just being like oh i'm a christian sometimes it, it's not it's it comes more to this it's really a lifestyle it, it really is and a lot of people will be like I, I really don't look at it as a religion this is just how i live and i feel like that's very important for people to see it that way it's not like a tradition like oh we go to church on this this day and i do this and then it's over it's more to being a christian it's a lot more to being a christian than you to going to church or you saying that i love god and i because you can say it all you want but if your actions show otherwise like you working on social media and then making a post like oh i just got blessed I'm not saying that you didn't get blessed, but it, it, it's hypocritical, y'all. It make you, it just make you look wishy-washy. And you know the Bible we talk about. Jesus said he don't like lukewarm people. Either you, either you with God or you not with God. 
and it, it just be like that and i know i ain't perfect i ain't sitting here saying like oh i'm superior like i'm the youth that's out here repping god like no i mess up too i know i mess up but it, it's i think it's just all about the way you carry yourself and that's the reason why i picked this um this scripture because we can't just continue to just talk with words it, 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 it be, it's, it's more than that it's more than that and we need to show that that it's more than me just saying oh i'm doing this oh i'm doing that oh i love god you have to show that you love god you have to pray so yeah that's that number four jeremiah 29 and 11 for i know the plans i have for you declares the lord plans to prosper not to harm you plans to give you hope and a future so i say this because i know so many people that's just uh and in middle school and high school and they like oh i'm probably not gonna do nothing when i get out of school and stuff like that and i'm just like why like i feel like people just don't know how much they're worth you don't know how much god loves you literally yeah <laughs> i cannot stress this enough he has a whole life for you to be prosperous for you to have everything that you ever wanted and beyond literally and people are here settling for less like talking about i'm not gonna do nothing in the future god wanted us to have everything he said we can have heaven on earth y'all heaven on earth that, that's that's what i'm striving for so i'm just like he have a whole plan for you you have value you have purpose everybody was created for a purpose and uh he he, he has a future for you he said plan to give you hope and a future and and i say that just because that's i feel like that's motivation because some people don't have that motivation they don't some people don't have a support system and i feel like that's the reason why i put this here because i have a strong support system i know my family want me to graduate high school and stuff like that and i know they push me to greatness and mom and my mom not gonna let me fail she even if when i do fail because there's gonna be some times where you fail but even when i do she's gonna make sure i get back up and make sure i get on get on pace get back with it bounce back basically so but everybody doesn't have a support system like me and so i put this in as motivation for you if you don't have that support system know that god is rooting for you he wants you to be successful he has a whole life planned out for you from head to toe and if you just follow his will if you just follow his will he will yeah <laughs> you can have blessings or blessings or blessings or blessings i promise you you will um number three first timothy 4 and, 4 and 12 do not let anyone look down on you because you are young instead set an example for the believers through your speech behavior love faith and purity so basically this is saying just because you're young don't that don't mean nothing you can still live the life you can still say oh i'm a christian i have faith i have uh, prosperity and just speak all of these things and some people may look at you like oh you're so young all this other stuff but honestly i feel like life is so much easier for you when you start off with a young um like when you start off in your faith young i feel like your life just at that point is just set up for you and i mean jesus started out young so don't let nobody tell you different and, and speech behavior love faith and purity and i think that just speaks for itself at this point like let this show through your through your lifestyle like i was saying earlier let let that show to be the light be different and don't be afraid to be different and then, and then if the world with everybody was the same you know how boring the world would be jesus made us all different god made us all different and we all have different stories different backgrounds and all that other stuff but you be different in a different way and i say that as 
stand out because people going to see the God in you. Don't stand out and be like, oh, she got poofy hair. Everybody got straight hair. Like, all that. No, that don't matter. No, <laughs> none of that. We, we ain't talking about your physical features. We talking about spiritual. It's something about you that's different from everybody. And some people not going to be able to pinpoint it, but it's, it's going to be a light. It's a light about you that's different. And that's why in my uh, intro video and in my bio and all this stuff, I put let your light shine in the darkness. Be different. The world is full of worldly people. It's full of all that craziness. You stand out and be that one good. And you see how much one person can change things. I'm telling y'all, be, be that difference. Be that difference. And, and watch god gonna bless you for it all right number two i'm coming to an end joshua one and nine be strong and courageous do not be afraid do not be discouraged for the lord your god will be with you wherever you go period and number one i feel like that scripture speaks for itself don't be scared in what you do because god got your back and Galatians 6 and 9, that's my number one scripture. Let us not become weary in good doing, for at the right time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. So I use that as my last one because I feel like a lot of us feel like what we doing is going in vain. Like we still struggle, we still go through all this craziness and stuff, but I'm here. To let you know that your struggle is not in vain that what you're doing for christ is not in vain you keep pushing keep being the light keep loving god keep praying keep worshiping be don't be afraid to stand out y'all don't be afraid and, and i promise you it's not going to waste you're not wasting your time god loves you for it and he will continue to bless you for it and I know sometimes it may not seem like it, but do not get tired of being the bigger person. Do not get tired of, I'm telling y'all, I know sometimes it be hard. Sometimes I'll be like, why am I doing this? Why, Lord? <laughs> why? But it is not in vain. It's not. It's not in vain at all. You're not doing this for no reason. It's, it's a bigger purpose. It's bigger than you. Remember that it's bigger than you. But, um... Yeah, that's it, y'all. So, like, comment, subscribe, share this video to your... Sorry, my video had cut off. But, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share this video to your friends. And I really hope that y'all have a blessed school year. And just remember these, remember these scriptures, y'all, throughout the school year. Please remember these scriptures for the remainder of the school year. And I really hope that I help somebody. I hope that I reach somebody. And y'all just keep yourself prayed up because the devil he gonna come at y'all. He gonna come at y'all but um yeah excuse me because I know I look a hot mess but I really want to get this out. I really want to make this video. I was gonna wait till I get my hair done and all that other stuff, but it ain't even that deep. Ow, I just hurt my ear. But yeah, I was uh, I really hope that I help somebody. So, um, yeah. Be blessed, y'all. Nobody can take the world. Sweet victory. Cause I got sweet victory. Yeah. Go to the cage. She is to the city. Better than good. We gon' make it to the